Blue Origin may have lost its appeal contest NASA's awarding rival, SpaceX. The contract to build a lunar lander vehicle, Jeff Bezos' space company, is not taking the defeat lying down. The space company published an infographic on its website, Wednesday, arguing that the SpaceX landing vehicle, a modified version of SpaceX's Starship, is unproven and potentially unsafe for astronauts. Hello dear YouTube family, and welcome back to Liftoff. As usual, we always keep you updated with the latest news and everything relating to the space niche world. Yes, that's right. We have seen in previous episodes Elon Musk's reaction to Jeff Bezos' secret project Jarvis, which is seen as a copy to SpaceX projects. In today's episode, it is the turn to see the reaction of Jeff Bezos on SpaceX's Starship 20 and Super Heavy BN4 rockets. Stay tuned. If you are new here, we warmly welcome you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you will never miss any of our latest SpaceX updates. Let's not waste a second and move on with the video. Blue Origin and SpaceX share the same ideals and aspirations in terms of space studies and exploration. These companies, owned by two of the richest individuals around the globe, also have similar plans to take the lead in the revolutionary age of space ventures. Both the founders of the space firms, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, even shared almost identical experiences throughout their careers. Both have gathered their knowledge and took advantage of the Silicon Valley. Both have been a significant part of multiple conglomerates and built their name from scratch. The space race competition heated up after NASA awarded Musk SpaceX with the sole contract to send Americans to the moon over Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. The rivalry between Bezos and Musk has been swarming the news for a while. Whether it is on social platforms, patents, or space services, Blue Origin and SpaceX have no plans on stopping their head-to-head -head battle at every opportunity. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin says NASA made the wrong decision for choosing Elon Musk's SpaceX. Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' space company, criticized Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship, which will take NASA humans to the lunar surface on Wednesday, calling it immensely complex and high risk. It has a new publicity strategy, posting salty graphics that trash competitors like SpaceX. The statements were made on an infographic on Blue Origin's website, amid tensions between the two parties, following NASA's 2.9 billion contract to SpaceX. The issue came after Bezos penned an open letter to the NASA administrator Bill Nelson, Futurism wrote. According to another Futurism report, he asked the administrator to reconsider the contract and give him $2 billion to change his mind. Blue Origin says SpaceX's Starship is a risky investment for NASA. CNBC initially spotted the infographic on Wednesday and depicted the concept of utilizing SpaceX's Starship to carry and land NASA humans on the lunar surface. A risky and complicated one. This is a severe charge, but Blue Origin appears to be basing its latest critique on NASA officials' prior assessment of Starship for the lunar landing mission. There is an unprecedented number of technologies, developments and operations that have never been done before for Starship to land on the moon, read Blue Origin's comments. NASA was originally expected to award contracts to two companies, but cited a lack of funding from Congress in its decision to give SpaceX the sole contract in April. Blue Origin and Dynetics, another competitor for the contract, filed formal protests. Those complaints forced SpaceX to pause work on its Starship lunar lander. Blue Origin slammed NASA's decision as wrong for America's leadership in space. In three one-page documents, repeating its previous criticism that the space agency run an inconsistent and unfair competition, even though the congressional inspector concluded that NASA did not, despite a judgment from the Congressional Inspector that NASA did nothing illegal per interesting engineering. Jeff Bezos's business reiterated previous accusations of the US Space Agency for conducting an uneven and unfair competition. Lunar Starship, immensely complex and high risk, is the large font headline of the Blue Origins infographic which goes on to list the reasons the company believes NASA's choosing SpaceX to build the lunar lander was a bad decision. 
The Super Heavy Booster plus Starship, integral to SpaceX's design, is the reusable first stage booster to launch Starship, which functions as a second stage. If successfully developed, the pair will make up the largest ever launch vehicle. Boca Chica SpaceX plans to launch the lunar Starship from Boca Chica in Texas, which has never hosted an orbital launch before. Orbital refueling For the massive Starship to reach higher orbits such as the Moon, it will need to be refueled, a process known as cryogenic fluid transfer, with up to 100 metric tons of propellants, from as yet undeveloped tanker variants of the Starship vehicle. Multiple launches per mission Blue Origin argues that to provide the lunar Starship with enough fuel for a single lunar mission, SpaceX will need 10 or more launches from Earth. Although not detailed in the text of the infographic, Blue Origin also includes a figure comparing the height of the lunar Starship to the Blue Origin's Blue Moon vehicle, noting that it's 32 feet from the vehicle's hatch to the lunar surface and 126 feet for astronauts descending from Starship. Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship never had an orbital launch, Blue Origin claims. Daily Mail added that Bezos' space firm also slammed SpaceX's Texas facility, claiming that it had never conducted an orbital launch. This ignores that SpaceX has previously completed over 100 successful orbital launches with their Falcon 9 rockets. Blue Origin's grievance conveniently overlooked something much more obvious. Bezos' business has yet to reach space. Meanwhile, SpaceX is getting ready to fly Starship into orbit for the first time, following a successful high-altitude takeoff and landing of the spaceship in May. Despite this, Blue Origin maintained its complaint, claiming that SpaceX's 126-foot-high escape hatch necessitates using an elevator for egress. Still, Blue Origin's 32-foot-high exit hatch merely requires the use of a ladder. Whether or not Bezos' firm gets what it wants, and whether or if Elon Musk responds with more than a flex emoji, SpaceX's offer at $2.9 billion is theoretically less expensive than Blue Origin's first bid of $5.99 billion, per the Wall Street Journal. Space News said NASA's options were limited, since it was only given a fraction of the funding it needed to construct the lunar lander. NASA decided to award the contract to the lowest bidder, which turned out to be SpaceX. Therefore, you should have a second competition to have two providers in case my competitor is too risky and fails. So, what do you think of Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos' arguments? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button to keep yourself updated. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.